Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just me, just Christian. For today's video, I will be sharing to you my one-year update on my rhinoplasty surgery and also an update with regards to the alarplasty which I have undergone last December of 2021. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified of my new video upload. So without further ado, let's begin. So for those who do not know, I had my rhinoplasty surgery last November of 2020 and I documented everything. I documented the whole process, the whole process of my rhinoplasty journey. And if you wanted to watch the videos about my journey and my rhinoplasty, there is a three-part vlog series which is located on my channel. So just visit my channel and look for those three videos about rhinoplasty. So my nose is already one year and almost two months now and it really has changed through time compared to the first three to four months. Yeah, and then thank God I also waited. I patiently waited to see its real shape. Actually, I planned uh, to have my ALARs trimmed after six months of my rhinoplasty procedure, but I have decided to wait after a year to really see if uh, my nose would still improve. And it really did improve naman after a year, especially uh, when I checked my old videos and uh, photos. So it really did improve after a year. But the problem is, when I smile, mas lumalapad yung ALR score. So that is my concern before. And then after a year, um, minimal na lang naman yung um, effect niya when I smile. Pero it really concerns me. So that is why I messaged again my doctor, same doctor, Dr. Sigueco, and asked him if it is still possible to have my ALR trimmed. Then yun, he said naman that it is still possible. Then after a week of my first year, which is December 1 to be specific, um, kasi November 24 yung one year ng nose ko. So nagpaschedule ako ng alarplasty um, on December 1. And then I also have seen the results of those patients who have undergone the same procedure after their rhinoplasty. And it really convinced me to also underwent to that kind of procedure. So last December 1, um, I had my ALR trimmed and I didn't vlog it na kasi nga, um, parang same lang din naman yung process. I will just be explaining it na lang here in this vlog. So I just took clips um, every day to see the improvement of it. So I uploaded those clips sa TikTok or if you have uh, seen that. I will also be uh, putting the video here. I will just be removing the sound for me to avoid um, copyright issues. <laughs> for me to avoid copyright issues. So, ito yung first day. And then, I think they did. Uh, so as you can see, nagswalan din yung nose ko. 
of course, after the surgery. And now, I will be answering questions naman, which was asked on the post ko sa TikTok. And most of those questions are the following. So, first question is, what is alarplasty? Ano yung alarplasty? So, it is also known as alar trimming or nostrils or alar reduction. Um, it is a cosmetic surgery procedure that changes yung shape ng nose or the width of your nostrils or yung wings, yung alars. So, second question is, hindi ba nag-trim sa rhinoplastic procedure mo before? So, before, nag-trim naman pero minimal lang yung trimming na ginawa sa nostrils ko, sa alars ko. And ang cut before is sa loob. So, hindi masyadong halata na nag-trim before. And then, yung sutures niya is sa loob din before. So, that is why I have decided to um, to have another alarplasty with the same doctor. Um, because nga, I am not satisfied with the, the width of my nostrils, my alars. Third question, who is my doctor? It is still the same doctor, Dr. Edmund Sihoweka of Sihoweka Aesthetics. And then the next question is the location of the clinic. Um, the clinic is still located in Narsan Building, West 4th Street, West Triangle at Quezon City. So, isa lang yung clinic nila at sa Quezon City lang yun, sa Quezon Avla. Next question is, ano yung anesthesia na ginamit? So, for this surgery, for this procedure, for the alar plastic procedure, um, local or general anesthesia lang yung binigay or yung ginamit na anesthesia. Hindi katulad before, which is sedated yung um, anesthesia. So, while they are doing the procedure, gising ako, um, yun na alam mo yung ginagawa with uh, your nose during the procedure. Kasi nga, gising ka. Next, how long is the procedure? The procedure lasted for only 30 minutes. I think less than pa nga, 30 minutes. And then, kaya din siguro local anesthesia lang yung ginamit. Kasi, Less than 30 minutes lang naman yung procedure. Mabilis lang yung procedure. Next question is, kung masakit daw ba yung uh, procedure? Um, yes, for the anesthesia lang. And then after that, wala na. The whole procedure went smooth. So, so pagtusok lang talaga ng anesthesia. But tolerable naman siya kasi may stress balls naman na binigay para while they're um, putting the anesthesia on your nose. Um, ma- mas mabaling yung stress mo dun sa stress balls. Yun, and then, um, first few shots lang naman yung masakit. And then, yung mga sumunod na shots ng anesthesia, hindi na. Kasi nga, um, nag-take effect na yung mga first shots na, yun, na tinusok sa nose mo. And then, uh, siguro mga 6 per alar yung shots ng anesthesia na naramdaman ko. I'm not sure about that though. Next is healing time. For the healing time of an alar plasty, mas mabilis lang yung healing time niya. Um, same one week after a week, um, the sutures will be removed. So sutures removal na after a week, and then actually after seven days nga, okay na rin talaga yung nose. Um, hindi na masal na mamaga. Hindi na hindi siya na magana sobra. And yun, mas mabilis la- daw talaga yung healing time kasi tinanong ko yung nurse dun sa clinic kung gaano katagal yung healing time. The next is how much yung um, procedure. I actually mentioned this na dun sa third part ng vlog series ko where I said na free yung revision when it comes to my doctor. So, for the alar plastic procedure, Kahit na after a year na ng surgery, um, ng rhinoplasty surgery ko, free pa din yung um, revision. So, free revision. Free yung alarplasty. Um, ang binayara ko lang is meds, which is 1,200 pesos. And here is the unboxing of the kit that they uh, provided me. So, I paid for that uh, 1,200, including all the medicines and the the pouch and yung pangminas ng nose.
And then for the Bactroban, they offered then kung gusto kong bumili sa kanila ng Bactroban. But I still have some na hindi ko naubos nung first procedure ko. And hindi pa naman siya expired. So, yun na lang yung ginamit ko din. And for those questions naman with regards to my rhinoplasty, I already answered them on the third part of my vlog series. Um, just visit my channel na lang and watch that video. And for those who are planning to have their nose done, also, it is really important to uh, be prepared in everything, um, whether it is financially, um, emotionally, mentally, physically, and especially in choosing the right doctor for you. There are lots of doctors here in the Philippines, and you really have to do research uh, first before kayo sumabak sa surgery. Um, kailangan maintindihan nyo muna na hindi instant ang effect ng rhinoplasty and it really needs time to heal para mas makita yung real shape ng nose, yung real result and outcome ng procedure. Kasi madami rin ako nababasa na nagra-rant with regards to the, their uh, experience and nagra-rant agad sila agad sa result eh wala pa nga uh, actually months yung procedure nila or yung nose nila. So, okay din talaga na nag-research muna ako before and nanood ako yung videos kasi maraming vlogs about rhinoplasty especially now, especially last year. Doon nagdagsa yung vlogs about rhinoplasty. Yun, nan uh, nanood ako ng videos, nag-conduct ako ng research or nag-research ako, nagbasa ako about rhinoplasty before ako nag-decide to have my nose done. And para din maintindihan ko yung process and alam ko yung possible na mangyari na effect niya. And yon tama naman sila that it really needs time to heal, to see the actual result of the procedure. And hindi din ako na stress before with my nose kasi nga alam ko na pagdadaan ko yung mga stages na yon. So here is my nose now after a year and almost two months of my rhinoplasty and almost two months of my other plasty. And yun nga, I really love the result na. Um, feeling ko naman worth it yung pagpapaayos ko ng nose. And if you have other questions na uh, hindi ko nasagot, feel free to comment it down below. Um, I will be answering them as much as I can. Especially if hindi ko naman nasagot yung questions na yun dun sa, sa previous videos ko. Or dito sa video na to. And you may also comment vlog suggestion for my next um, videos to upload here in YouTube. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified on my new video uploads. Bye!